Hello traders, welcome to the weekly trade ideas with me Pierre at PFX. As usual, we're going to take a look at all the majors including gold and oil to help you out with your trading plans for the upcoming week starting right now. Hi guys, my name is Pierre. Welcome to my channel. This channel is all about helping you grow your trading account and making you a better trader. Now each week I upload a new video like this so if you're not subscribed make sure to subscribe hit the notification bell and guys please if you like the video do not forget to hit the like button let's get started and as usual we will start with the dixie we are on the weekly time frame yet another um, sideways week as you see the weekly candle ended up to be a spinning top once again and almost the same as we had the week before uh, going down to the daily time frame we see that uh, for the whole week this is the trading week here uh, the dollar spent um, uh, the whole week uh, going sideways especially at the uh, beginning of the week if we go down to the one hour um, this is where the week started so we had this uh, this part of the chart as you see been pushing slightly to the upside but equal highs all the time to then get this um, uh, range widening during the uh, FOMC did a double bottom here at the key support level and pushed back up so at the move to the way up uh, I've been talking about uh, the 92 once again with our trading room um, and students uh, saying that this is going to be key level and um, yeah we saw that on friday yet again the 92 is still an area of uh, interest for the bears and as far as that is no break and hold above it uh, we might still see this uh, consolidation keep going so the last time there was an attempt to break and hold above it but uh, as you see on the retest they failed the broke lower and then they kept the price below that so um, all in all not much has changed actually from last week overview and uh, yeah for the dollar we still uh, need to uh, keep playing this range sell the high buy the low until either we see a break to the downside which may send this back down toward the monthly pivot point at around the uh, 90.70 area or we wait for the break to the upside um, here and that need to happen above 92 hold above 92 to then see if we're gonna clear uh, this previous high as well so that's it for the dixie uh, gold start a move to the upside after this um, descended, uh, descending wedge got broken we've got the breakout we've got a higher low yet another higher low and uh, when that happened we drew a trend line to keep following this uh, trend line that been uh, tested uh, three times now and in my opinion as far as the price is above that uh, trend line we might see a little bit further continuation uh, toward that monthly pivot point where we do expect a little bit of a trouble looking left this area have been a good level of interest uh, might act as resistance now and if we check the daily time frame you see why i'm interested about this level this been acting nicely here as a potential resistance so after this break to the downside this might be the correction and then we might look for continuation so uh, short term at the start of the week i'm looking for potential continuation to the upside here especially if we keep getting these higher lows here we might see that further continuation toward monthly pivot point to then start look for a bearish evidence and a potential reversal to the downside. Oil um, had a, a strong uh, bearish week, uh, so we've got an evening star formation. And as you remember, guys, I've been talking about oil and this level for a while now in my uh, weekly overviews that we uh, waiting to see a break uh, or a tag above these previous high to then start look to sell. And we've got that scenario nicely we've got uh, here on the daily the tag happened then we've got a lower high and since then the market kept pushing lower tested a key structure area now at around the monthly pivot point here uh, so uh, 59 to 60 area is key any break below this will signal continuation back down to the 54 area and the monthly s1 level on oil so uh, as for now you need to see this level as a potential support area looking left you know why i'm considering this potential support and on friday we've got a nice bounce this could be profit taking but it is worthwhile to keep an eye on that i'm looking for short-term retest of this broken structure and if they fail to break higher 
looking to short once again and of course a break below monthly pivot point that could signal continuation toward monthly s1 those are the levels to watch uh, USD, same as the dixie not much happened last week so this is uh, the whole trading week uh, we have here in this uh, little range so been going bouncing around sideways and uh, all in all i'm seeing the, where the price is testing right now as a potential key support area because if we check the daily you see that we are retesting this uh, major level of um, resistance previously and now it got tested once the market pushed back above it and we've been uh, sitting there since that time so the price is still above the 200 moving average on the daily testing this key area keep an eye on this level as far as there is no break below this, we might see continuation of this consolidation or uh, potentially a quick bounce to the upside before yet another weakness at the top here. Any break to the downside, we might look for further continuation, especially if the price break below this level as well. This key structure here as well after this ABCD move ended down here. Now this gonna be a level that the bulls will eye and try to defend if we see a break below uh, this little structure we have here on the chart sterling same scenario still sideways still in the range nothing new here the top here is um, key resistance now where we had the weekly r1 last week we tested that level and then we saw the price pushing back uh, the first uh, support gonna be down here at around uh, last week's s1 and um, in my opinion even if this break we still have another level of interest looking left so we're gonna go to the daily and see why this might be a level of interest we check left we see that the price was trading above here and above these uh, areas so it might be um, something like this complex correction and then a bounce higher might start from this area so it is worth watching this level if the price push um, toward it and as you see we are far away from the 200 moving average so we might get a deeper correction and a lower one uh, but as first i will play this as like this if we got a retest failed to break higher looking to sell back down toward this area and if we break below this area then we might see a continuation toward next level of interest down here and those are the reasons here i'm marking this level of on the chart as a potential area of interest okay uh, USD JAPI slowing down a little bit going to the daily we see that um, last week all the wicks was almost coming from above now Thursday and Friday we end up with the uh, doji's or spinning top scandal but as you see uh, we we see a little bit of a slowdown now after this uh, huge momentum move to the upside big candle we start seeing a little bit of a trouble here so it might be time for a little bit of a correction here on this market then we've got uh, the week before last week we've got this little uh, range here and last week the market moved higher to a higher range and start trading in a very very narrow range so I'm expecting uh, trending week uh, next week on the USD Jappy. the question is if it's gonna continue with this correction to the downside and then the answer to that gonna be uh, pretty simple if I see a break below this range I'm looking for a potential further continuation and this might go quick because the price is now boiling up for something uh, big to come the question is if it's gonna be to the downside or continuation of this huge momentum to the upside if you're gonna short this market be aware that you are trading against this so it is a counter trend uh, idea but um, I'm thinking that we might uh, it might could uh, be time now for a little bit of a correction before the continuation all in all I think this market after a correction lower we might still see a continuation further up but uh, since we have this little bit of a slow down we ended up with the spinning top week at the 200 moving average we might get that uh, correction usd chief also start to slow down a little bit and bouncing around checking the weekly and the daily we see the price bouncing around here especially after this uh, bearish engulfing candle uh, they had uh, trouble to keep pushing higher and if we go down to the four hour time frame we see that uh, even here last week been sideways week not much been happening so as far as there is no break above these highs here 
I'm looking for a little bit of a further downside correction, at least 38.2. 618 would be even better if we got uh, a little bit of a deeper correction here on this market before any continuation to the upside. USDCAD also found some support checking the weekly time frame. We see that we are we uh, we saw the price uh, dipping uh, down here at around this area now. Tested that level. I was expecting it to tag this slow down here before the the uh, bounce to the upside. It is still a bearish market all in all absolutely. So one day or a couple of days of green candle are not enough. So my main idea was to look for a little bit of a correction back up to retest this area and then maybe continuation if they fail to break above it so that is still the case we have uh, now a uh, nice uh, v-shape formation potential head and shoulder inverted head and shoulder if they break the neckline we might see that um, bounce to the upside maybe early at uh, next week before then look for reversal to the downside so this is what i'm looking at on usd cad keep an eye on this uh, structure up here if you see a break retest then start looking here for potential bearish evidence and maybe a rotation back down also usd <coughs> also <coughs> sideways week so we had this was the trading week last week we've got this bounce to the upside and then all the way back down so still um, the key support is down here q resistance up here keep playing that range until we have a break out of it is the main idea here keep in mind that even if we break uh, this level we still have uh, a little bit of a trouble looking left uh, inside this area and this low down here also may act as uh, potential support um, but again as for now you see this area here been tested so many times and holding we've got this little peg out and then the market pushed back up and now when we see the market testing that again it is holding once again it's been tested so many times so that's why it is an important level to watch as a potential uh, support area for now the same for new zealand usd um, the trading week was this range here so we've got this push to the upside during fomc and then the day after or the days after the market pushed all the way back up now it looks like we have a build up pressure to break to the downside if that would be the case then we might see a continuation to tag these lows down here could be something to watch but as for now as far as this holding as support you might see yet another bounce to the upside so keep an eye on this level for next week gonna be a very important level to know if you're gonna short or you're gonna follow one more bounce to the upside on new zealand usd as well and that was it for this week guys thanks a lot do not forget to like the video and see you next week bye bye